Two years ago, a major earthquake hit Japan, devastating towns and triggering a tsunami that hit us here on the West Coast. Now, new research shows we may be next in line for the big one sooner than geologists originally thought. Houston's Whitney Clark has details. It feels like we're always talking about the big one. This is something I thought impossible. Turns out new studies show big earthquakes like this happen in our area more often than we have thought. Geologists say what happened two years ago in Japan will happen here basically any day within the next 50 years. What you saw in Japan with that earthquake and that tsunami, that's, that's, the, that's the mirror image. That, that's the bookend. That's what Oregon looks on the other side of the Pacific. State emergency workers taking that message on the road, traveling to coastal communities for tsunami road shows this month, hoping to prepare and educate up to 1,500 people, including Brookings, where geologists say there is a 37% chance of a major earthquake in the next 50 years. A major earthquake means something between an 8.0 to 9.0 along the Cascadia subduction zone. It runs 600 miles from Northern California to British Columbia. Geologists say the last time there was a big earthquake here was 300 112 years ago. Taking a look at a timeline, scientists say the average time between big events about 240 years. Now, the state wants people to know what to expect. The ground would shake for five minutes, then depending on how the plates move, the tsunami would hit within 15 to 20 minutes. We can look at what happened in other places, such as Japan in 2011, um, Indonesia in 2004, and you know, sometimes the waves got as high as 100 feet. So we can expect very large waves. The state says under current conditions, the damage in Oregon would be catastrophic. Electricity would be off in valley areas for up to three months, up to six months for the coast. Drinking water and sewage services not working in the valley from a month to a year. While on the coast, they could be off for up to three years. Roads and bridges destroyed. We'll be cut off for 72 hours from, from any sort of help, uh, relief uh, here in the valley. Uh, bridges will fall down and uh, so getting in and out by road is not going to be possible. While no one can predict when the Cascadia Fault will rupture, emergency crews say you don't have to be scared. Should people be scared? Oh no. People should not be scared about this because quite a, there's hazards wherever you live. It's just a fact of life. It's a fact of life everyone can prepare for. Covering your news in Brookings, Whitney Clark, News 10. Coming up tomorrow on News 10 at 6, we'll tell you how volunteers say you can keep your family safe. Also, the governor's plan to protect Oregonians.